Okay, friends, now we have CRUD for users. We can uh, assign permissions, also assign roles. We have CRUD for roles and also for permissions. In this video now, I'm going to create a post model and also I'm going to add a link here to navigate to the post and we are going to have something like this. But also the user who is not admin can access the post. We are going to give some roles and some user who has a role to create a post can create a post and also some other can update just to show you how you can use the roles and permissions. Today's video is brought to you by Cloudways, a managed cloud hosting platform for PHP based applications. So we have a WordPress, Magento, Laravel and PHP. Cloudways takes over all server management and security hassles to let you solely focus on your business. Their custom stack provides performance boost, managed backups that keep your app safe and a staging environment that let you test code without breaking live sites. Plus, pre-configured Composer and integrated GI make deployments a breeze and you get a choice between five top cloud providers including DigitalOcean, Vulture, Linode, WSL and GCI. With Cloudways, you not only get flexibility but peace of mind. So if you are an agency or an e-commerce store owner, Cloudways is a great fit for all your managed hosting requirements. Don't forget to use promo code link in description. So let's open the VS code and I'm going to open the terminal and let's uh, new one. And let's say clear here. Okay, so let's make the model first. So artisan make model and dash n for migration and also for controller. Let's create and uh, the model name is going to be post. Okay, so the model created, also the migration created and the controller created. Good. Let's close this. Now let's open the web routes. And here when we have the resource for roles, permission and so on, let's just copy and create one more for the post. And let's add the post controller. In here, okay. Let's save. Now let's open the, not the, yeah, the dashboard or the authenticated layout. Here we have the link for the admin. As I said, I want to add a link here to navigate to the post. So let's add one more. and paste it right here. This is going to be not for users, for, th for the posts and also posts here. Now I'm going to remove this VIF as a role admin for now. And let's see if I refresh. Yeah, we have just, we need to change it to be posts like this. And yeah, if I click, yeah, the controller index does not exist. So let's work with that. Let's open the post controller. And on the index method, so let's create a method index, which is going to return type uh, inertia response. Okay, and let's get first all the posts. So I'm going to say post to be able with and we need to create also the post resource. So let's come here and say artisan make a resource post resource hit enter. Let's close. And now I'm going to say to get all the post first. And then let's return inertia render. And here we are going to pass to the admin slash post I'm going to create and also slash post index. And uh, we need to pass here also all the posts. So let's say post like this. 
and the post resource we created right now, collection, static method, and say, pass here all the posts we get. And uh, for now, let's save this and let's create uh, the post index now. So inside the resources, JS, pages, we have the admin and uh, roles I'm going to duplicate as uh, boss. Okay. And maybe, so let's rename this boss program. Okay, we have here created it and also let's rename this the post index. And let's open now. First, we are going to define props for posts. Then, not delete a role, but it's going to delete a post. So let's also change this. Change the name and for delete, it's going to say post destroy the ID. And then here the title is going to be post index. Also here post index page here is going to be post create and we need the id title okay then we need to make v4 and select all the roles and replace with post post and post add the post display the post id and the post title not post name, then edit by passing here the post edit route and post ID, and then we need to confirm delete post not role. Also, it's going to show the model. It's going to be post model. Then here delete post and we need the post ID and I think we are okay. Let's uh, indent this a little bit and also all the model like this. Save and now let's see if we navigate the dash post slash post yeah we don't have the migration so let's uh, run right here run the migration and now refresh and here it is the page post index page we don't have any and also we need to change that button to say not a uh, new role but we need to say new post like this okay so now let's uh, first we need to change the migration the post migration and let's open the post table here we need to add i'm going to add only the title so let's say table string because the idea is just to show you how we can protect and how we can use the roles and permissions and now let's run the artisan migrate fresh so artisan migrate fresh there dash seed okay close this and let's open and refresh here go to the admin okay and let's go to the dashboard and go to the post yeah now i'm going to add also the post right here so let's open the admin layout and on the links when we have sidebar link for permission let's copy this li this one here and paste it and say not permissions but 
pause and also the route is going to be pause so let's say pause here and now we are okay so we are in the pause got the permission rules and users we need to change the icon here so let's open the arrow icons and uh, what we can add here so let's say an article or not post yeah better copy this and just paste that svg inside here save and now let's see yeah here we have post permissions and errors okay friends that's it about this video now in the next video let's make a crowd for post and then we need to create a post policy and protect the who can create who can edit who can see a post and who can uh, delete the post so the idea is to see the roles and permissions how we can use them so see you in the next one all the best friends thank you very much